Hello students, welcome to the third video on human eye and colorful world. Chapter 11 for class 10. In this video, we will learn about the dispersion of white light through prism. Let us try to revise what we have learned earlier about the refraction of light through the glass lens. Light travels on a straight path, but when light changes from one medium to the other medium, it, its path bends slightly. And the bending depends on whether it is moving from rarer medium to the denser or denser medium to the rarer. If it is moving from rarer medium to denser, it bends towards the normal. And when it moves from denser medium to the rarer medium, it would move away from the normal. So, refraction was defined as a bending of light when it enters obliquely from one transparent medium to the other. Prism is a piece of glass having three rectangular surfaces and two triangular surfaces as shown in the figure. The angle between the two lateral faces is called angle of prism which is marked as theta in the figure. The lower figure shows the incident ray and path of the emergent ray shown as a red ray when it is passing through the prism it is called refracted ray the angle made between the incident ray and the emergent ray in the figure h g r is the angle of deviation triangle abc represents the prism here ab is one lateral surface and AC is the other lateral surface through which the emergent ray comes out. P is the incident ray which is entering into the prism through the first surface AB. EF is the refracted ray and has bent towards the normal. So it is now looking parallel to the base of the prism. FS is the ray which is coming out of the prism so it reflects again and this is called emergent ray. Angle of incidence I and angle of refraction both are equal. The peculiar shape of the prism will make the emergent ray bend at an angle to the direction of the incident ray. This angle is angle of deviation D. Now we have understood the refraction process in a prism. Let us do one activity. Take a thick cardboard sheet, make a hole and through this narrow slit allow the sunlight to pass and allow this to fall on the flat surface of the prism. On the other side, adjust a screen so that the light coming from the prism falls on that screen. After some adjustment, we will get the image and you will be surprised to see not the white light which was passing through the slit but multicolor band. This beautiful band of the colors is having the colors from violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red which is acronym as Vibgeo. The splitting of white light into seven colors when passing through prism is called dispersion. Why are we getting these seven colors? Because the different component colors of the white light when they pass from one medium to the other medium undergo differential refraction. The refraction depends on the wavelength of the color. Wavelength of red color is highest and that of the indigo is lower. So the one which is having higher wavelength, less frequency will bend less. Violet is having the highest frequency and lowest wavelength that will bend the most. If white light can be split into seven colors, can we make another seven colors from the seven colors? Isaac 
Newton did do the experiment but found that further classification or division of the colors is not possible. He then placed a second identical prism in the inverted position next to the first prism and let the seven color spectrum fall as an incident ray on the second prism as shown in the figure. And he found that from the second prism what was emerging out was a single white color. This observation gave Newton an idea that sunlight is made up of seven colors. The practical application of dispersion is a rainbow. In the nature, this happens because of the atmosphere which is having different layers of different densities. Upper ones are having the rare density and as we move down, the densities increase. This causes refraction. After the rainfall, there are tiny water droplets in the atmosphere and those water droplets act like a prism. And the light would disperse through these tiny prisms and give us the rainbow effect. These rainbows which are seen in the sky are having dominance of the red and blue colors. Other colors are seen but not with that prominence. Rainbow is formed in the opposite direction to the sun. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe the channel. Thanks again.